In this episode, I'm back on the River Stour at Throop. It's been two weeks since my last visit, and yet again, we've been unlucky enough to have been met with a river that has been swollen by rain. This time, quite considerably, it's really coloured and charging through at a good pace. Weather-wise, it's looking like an overcast day with a small chance of some rain later in the day, so I've brought the brolly and I've decided to fish static. Barbel are going to be the target species during this session, and I'm hoping my tactics are good enough to tempt a whiskers. As I've mentioned previously, I confess to being a river novice. However, I was fortunate enough to have caught some double figure barbel from this same river many years ago using methods similar to those that I'm adopting today. The swim I've chosen has a large slack area on the far bank and there is also some slower paced water under my own bank so I'll be placing my baits in both these areas. To start off with I'll be using heavy swim feeders but if the flow still proves too much for those I'll switch to straight leads. Hookbait wise, I'm putting my faith in boilies. I'm using fish meal based baits and I'm attaching these to around 20 inches of fluorocarbon, which in turn is attached to a bolt rig. Crude but effective. Let's mix up some ground bait. A few magic powders and liquids will hopefully attract some customers into the swim. It's like a five star Michelin feast for the barbel. Give it a good mix. Add some liquid foods to some water and give that a good mix. Then drizzle a small amount of the mixture onto the dry powders, just a bit at a time. Add a few boilies and pellets. Bit more water. and a perfect feeder mix. Look at the concentration on that face.
no fish today, but there's always next time. back again and hoping to redeem myself after last time's failure. I'm targeting solely chub today and intend to be mobile in an attempt to search out some fish. The river itself is fining down after another bout of heavy rain and flooding, so we've actually managed to time it right this time. Weather-wise it's quite mild for early November, with temperatures still touching double figures although a brisk southwesterly wind is due to spring up later in the day. As long as it stays dry, I don't mind what the rest of the elements do. First off, I'm going to try a lump of cheese paste. I've already introduced a few free offerings into the swim before casting out the hook bait. To my left downstream is a slacker area of water just off the main current and an overhanging tree. I'll trickle a few more bits of paste into the swim and try and build up the fish's confidence. That's if there's anyone home, of course. I've actually brought a variety of baits with me today as well as the cheese paste. I have some boily paste, bread, meat and lobworms. Ringing the changes might just bring me some results. Well, that didn't take long. I just moved swims to my second swim. And I decided I tried cheese paste, but I didn't have any any inquiries on that. So I thought, well, I'll try lobworm. I dropped the lobworm out, and literally within a minute or two, I started getting inquiries. And the tip just bent round. And I was into, not a big one, but it's my, my biggest chub. It's 
I said, I haven't had much chance to fish any proper rivers in my life. And uh, it's my first proper chub from the throop on the stour. Absolutely chuffed to bits. It's probably about three pound probably. But what a lovely fish. The colours are absolutely stunning. All the golds and bronzes and all the enamel in on his gills. Absolutely lovely. Couldn't be more chuffed. Better slip him back quick. Another wonderful river stour chub. He's over four pounds, probably about four and a half, but I will weigh it in a minute and I'll let you know. Chuff to bits with second chub of the day. On lobworm again. Yay! The rig I'm using today has been very simple. A size 8 hook which is attached to 18 to 24 inches of fluorocarbon with a simple knotless knot. I then trim the tag end. It won't slip and is easier than a conventional snail lock to tie. Next, I thread an anti-tangle tube onto the hook link before finishing with a figure of eight overhand loop. The loop is then hooked over a quick change swivel and the anti-tangle tube slid over the top. The rig itself is a simple free running setup with a small bomb. successful hook bait today has been a nice juicy lockwell.
Later in the afternoon, I found myself hooked into another chuck. There we are, another nice chub and the door sits down, not, not one of the monsters, but another fish of about three, maybe three and a half pounds. Just moved swim again for about the tenth time today. I kept busy, kept roving around, trying to search the fish out and uh, it's paid off with my third chub of the day. So. Can't really be happier than that. Brilliant. Very well chuffed. Absolutely super condition. You know, obviously young fish. It's good to see. Let's get him back.